Introduction to General Gistology Epithelium Glens Main questions of the lecture General Gistology is a science about tissues of the body Tissue are the ensembles of cells and their derivatives developed in phylogenesis and possessing the common structure and functions. Tissue consists of cells and their derivatives, intercellular matrix, ground substance and fibers, under cellular structures, simplasts, and postcellular structures, like erythrocytes, platelets, and so on. There are four main types of tissues in the body. Epithelial tissues, formed by cell layers, have such functions as protection, bearer, absorption, secretion. Tissues of inner medium or connective tissues, blood and lymph, connective tissue proper, bone and cartilage. Muscle tissues provide mobility of the body and inner organs, and nervous tissue provide integrative reactions in the body consist of nervous and glial cells form the nervous system a major regulatory system of the body origin of tissues in embryogenesis gistogenesis its development of tissues in embryogenesis from three germ layers and three axial organs. Here, in the schematic drawing of one month's human embryo, you see three germ layers, ectoderm around, endoderm, and mesoderm. And mesoderms consist of summits, segmented dorsal part of mesoderm, splanchnotom, which consists of two layers, visceral and parietal, with celom between, and nephrogonotoms between summits and splanchnotum. Three axial organs are nerve tube, hord, and primary digestive tube. From these sources in embryogenesis, mostly from the second month, developed all tissues of the body. First tissue you will study is epithelial tissue. Are leaning the surface of the body, inner and outer surfaces of the inner organs, cavities, as well as compose the glands. And therefore there are two groups of epithelia surface epithelium simple and stratified and glandular epithelium all epithelia located at basal membrane which underlined it and separates from the other tissues so surface epithelium may be squamous, cuboidal or columnar depending on the shape of the cells. Simple epithelium is epithelium in which all cells 
connected this basal membrane. Depending of shape of cells, simple epithelium may be squamous, consist of flat cells, cuboidal, and columna. It may be also pseudostratified if it consists of cells of different size and shape. This epithelium contains small basal cells, middle size inserted or intermediate cells and goblet cells, and long ciliated cells. And these cells contain nuclei located at several different layers. Is the reason why it's called pseudostratified, false stratified. It looks like stratified, but really it's simple because all cells connected this basal membrane. There is polar differentiation of cells. It means that basal poles and apical poles of cells differ in their structure and functions. Some cells, especially columnar cells, have microvilli, which combine into brush border or absorptive border because necessary for absorption of organic substances, for example in small intestine and renal tubules. Cells in apical portion may contain cilia and this epithelium called ciliated. This is example of simple squamous epithelium the view of the surface and at the section you can see that the cells flat. There are two main types of simple squamous epithelium. Mesothelium leaning all serous membranes of the body, peritoneum, pleura and pericardium and endothelium, leaning all blood and lymphatic vessels and heart in contact with blood or lymph. Oh. There is simple cuboidal and columna epithelium of renal tubules. This is a simple pseudostratified ciliated epithelium of airways, for example, trachea. And you see basal cells. The nuclei compose the first line. Ciliated cells with cilia. Another line of nuclei, goblet cells and supporting cells, the third line of nuclei. The nuclei of at the different levels composes several layers and looks like stratified, but all cells connected with basal membrane, so it's really simple. Stratified epithelium consists of many layers of cells and only the first layer connected with the basal membrane. Others not. Stratified epithelium may, may be keratinized, non-keratinized or transitional. Keratinized epithelium contain surface layer of cells Keratinized contain keratin. In non-keratinized, the surface layer of cells contain no keratin. This epithelium called stratified squamous 
keratinized, and this stratified squamous non-keratinized. Squamous because the superficial layer consists of squamous, flat cells. Stratified squamous keratinized epithelium is the epidermis of skin. It consists of five layers. First, basal layer or stratum basalis, stratum spinosum, because these cells connected by uh, small processes, spines, with desmosomes. Third layer, stratum granulosum, because cytoplasm contains basophilic blue in color granules of keratogelin. Next stratum lucidum, and no cells there visible. And stratum corneum consist of postcellular structures, squamous. In non-keratinized, only three layer. Basal layer contain uh, stem or cambial cells which methodically divide in and replace the other cells. Intermediate and superficial layer. And in transitional epithelium, the basal, intermediate, and superficial layer of cells. So, in basal layer, there are stem methodically dividing actively cells, mitotic cells, and young daughter cells appeared from mitotic division, differentiate, specialized, and moving to the superficial layers and replace the older cells. And superficial layer died and leaf epithelium. And this, the full replacement of cells, take about 40 days for epidermis of skin. These pictures demonstrate the stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium, this basal membrane. This epithelium cover the corner, lean the oral cavity, esophagus, vagina, keratinized epithelium, epidermis of skin. Transitional epithelium, lean in the urine passing organs, this epithelium transit from one relaxed state to distended state. Relaxed if the urinary bladder empty and there are four or five layers of cells and superficial layer consists of oval spherical in shape cells. In distended epithelium, in, uh, if the urinary blood are full of urine, and wall and epithelium distended, the amount of layers decreased. The, there is only three layers of cells because intermediate cells enter between basal cells and superficial cells became flat. Structure and properties of the covering of surface epithelium. Cells are closely connected by intercellular junctions and there are few intercellular substance Epithelium lay, lays on the basal membrane. 
There are no blood vessels inside and feeding of, of epithelium take place from the blood in blood vessels of connective underlying connective tissue and oxygen and glucose for example diffuse through the basal membrane and through the intercellular clefts and carbon dioxide and metabolites going in opposite direction. Surface epithelium possesses a polarity, apical and basal parts of cells in simple epithelium and different structures of, of layers in stratified epithelium. You see then basal layer cells usually columnar and superficial flat squamous and it's very important that epithelium has a high ability for regeneration or renovation especially after destruction functions of the surface epithelium barrier it separates the inner media of the organism from the environment. Protection it protects the inner tissues against the unfavorable f factors of the environment. Physical, chemical, bacteria and so on. Participation in metabolism exchange of substances between the inner medium and the environment absorption in intestine for example excretion in the kidney covering the inner organs in the body cavities it provides a condition for their movement agility for example methacellum covers the stomach and intestine, covers the lungs and heart, and it uh, produces some uh, special fluids which lubricate the surface and provide the easy movement of these organs. Lateral specialization the epithelial cells connected by intercellular junctions all type of junctions available there anterior junctions occluding junctions or tight junctions and communicating junctions or gap junctions Apical specialization include microvilli, small finger-like extensions of apical portions of epithelial cells. Together they produce a brush border necessary for absorption of organic substances in small intestine or in kidney tubules. Cilia contain the microtubules inside, two central and nine pairs of the peripheral microtubules can move and basal body in the basis is specialized central which produce microtubules of Cilia. The source of epithelial tissue development in embryogenesis it derived from all three germ layers from ectoderm, epidermis of skin, linen of oral cavity and esophagus and partly airways 
from endoderm, epithelial of stomach, intestine, liver, and pancreas, and from mesoderm, epithelium of the urinary system and serous membranes, as well as the linen of vessels and heart. Glandular epithelium consists of glandular epithelial cells which produce the special substances for export to the needs of the body. And secretory cycle, production and release of the secret. The first phase, the entrance of initial small molecules like amino acids for protein biosynthesis or fatty acids for lipids or monosaccharides for carbohydrates. Second phase, the synthesis of these compounds in endoplasmic reticulum and processing, sorting and accumulation in Golgi complex. Next, accumulation in apical portion of cells, secretory cells, and then release the secret outside cell when it necessary. And then cycles start from the beginning. And these epithelial cells compose the glands, which can be divided into two groups. Endocrine, which release the secret into the inner medium, like the blood, lymph, interstitial fluid. So they duct duct less. And exocrine, release the secret outside, like surface of skin, or lumen of elementary canal or airways or other organs. So they contain the ducts. Both of them can be unicellular or multicellular. Classification of multicellular exocrine glands. There are two ducts in exocrine glands. Secretory portion stain in green, which produce the secret, and ducts stain in violet, it release the secret outside. On the secretory portion shape, lens divided into tubular or atsinar like vesicles. On the structure of duct, glands may be simple if the duct like simple tube or compound if the duct branching like branches in the tree. Some secretory portions can divide in branching and it's called branched tubular or atsinar glands. Plan of structure of the compound gland. For example, big cellular gland. It looks like tree during the summer. Secretory portions looks like leaves in the tree. And small ducts like small branches. They fuse to middle branches or ducts, the beak into the beak ducts, and they fuse together and produce main duct, like trunk of the tree. There are three types of secretion and way to release of the secret. Merocrine, no destruction secretory cells at all. If uh, the apical 
portion destroyed slightly or significantly it called apocrine secretion micro or macro apocrine if the whole cells accumulate the secret and destroy it and die it and enter into the secret it called holocrine from what holos whole it's typical for sebaceous glands it for mammary glands or some uh, sweat glands and merocrine type of secretion the most popular for most type of glands classification of glands by chemical composition of the secret maybe serous if produce the protein secret maybe mucose if produce the complex carbohydrate secret like mucus or mixed if gland contain both protein serous cells and mucose cells this is example of mucus secretion by goblet cell goblet cells basal part quite narrow like the leg of glass for juice of wine it contains the nucleus and organelles and wider apical portion contain the droplets of mucus secret this is example of protein secretion by chief cell of the stomach these cells produce protein for export in rough endoplasmic reticulum from amino acids diffused from the blood and these proteins processing and packaging in golgi complex and then accumulated in apical portion of cells and a release outside into the lumen of stomach when it's necessary when you eat the food the enzymes release and digest this food